So welcome to episode number three of Quranic Breakthroughs by Muslim Mastery. As we have spoken about earlier, this is all about mindset and strategies to feel powerful, to feel closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, manage your pains and challenges, and achieve true happiness. So my question for today is who and what are you impressed with? Cell phones, smartphones, laptops, pets, cats, cars, aircrafts, sportmen, athletes. What is it? Think about it. What you are truly, truly impressed and amazed with. Yep, think about it. Well, let's take a look at it. Who really did it? Who gave the physical features that you apply, that you appreciate? So if there's someone that you really love and admire, whether it be from the natural beauty, the mountains, the lakes, the gardens, the forests, or a person, or an animal, a pet, a cat, who gave them the physical features that they have? If it's a technology that you appreciate, whether it be a fast sports car, or a smartphone, or a computer, or aircraft, whatever it is, where did the ideas and innovations came from? So this is an interesting topic, right? Within itself, the, the development of ideas, the gradual development of ideas, and how people actually come about things and innovations in an accidental manner. Many times the scientists and the discoverers are not chasing the idea that they stumble upon, and that's by the facilitations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then on top of it, you and I having access to it. So if the phone exists, and it's amazing, or the aircraft is amazing, or the car is amazing, or a, or a scenery is so beautiful, who gave us access to it? Various types of access. Us having physical access to it, having the, the senses, like the sight, uh, ability to taste, right? So if there's some food that you appreciate, uh, food, a dessert, right? Who gave you the ability to appreciate those things? Think about it. So. Who does the true appreciation belong to? And that's the key thing. Alhamdulillah has a meaning of that all praises and thanks belong to Allah. But it's very important for us to really realize what we are saying and why all praises and thanks belong to Allah. Not just like a lip service, but to really appreciate it. Let's have a look at what, what's the difference between thanks and praise. So you may thank someone because of what they are doing to you. So somebody, you know, buying you dinner, buying you food, giving you a gift, you may thank the person for that specific thing. That's thanking. Praising can happen even if the person does not give you anything. So for example, an athlete, right? A powerful warrior or um, a beautiful car. You would praise it for what it is, regardless of if you have the ability to ride the car or not. Regardless of if the person actually has given you anything or not, you're praising them for their characteristics. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has all the praises because He is the one who created everything. He is the one who knows everything. He is the one who is uh, free of any deficiency, any imperfection. So within His own self, His own that, He Himself subhanahu wa ta'ala is worthy of all praises. And then on top of that, whatever we have, وَمَا بِكُمْ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever blessings we have, whatever thing we enjoy is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is the thanking part. So the quality of praise, so this praise that we do, alhamdulillah, it should involve two things, our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it's, it's a true statement. Because you can praise someone out of fear just to get something off them. So there's no love. Or you can praise someone even if it's not true, just like, you know, making things up to praise someone, to make them happy. So these two things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free of. So we praise Allah from love, based on our love, and the praise is true. So it has a lot of benefits for our own self. First and foremost, a very important thing, brothers and sisters, is to give the credit where it's due, to give it to the right person. So it's very important for us to understand that if we have an amazing friend or an amazing spouse, or parents or children for parents to realize that the happiness and the pleasure is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not coming from that individual. That's very important. A lot of time we think that that's the individual that's giving us the pleasure. Allah is the one who created that individual 
who created that object that we are enjoying and gave us access to it and, and made us such that we are able to have pleasure and enjoy their company. So what happens if Allah takes them away? We realize that, hey, or one day they're not happy with us, or one day they don't meet us, or one day the children grow up and they're not dependent on the parents, or they move out. The person realizes that look, it was a blessing of Allah, the bounty of Allah that gave me that enjoyment and every enjoyment will end. This life is not forever. But if you have the right attribution, then you would realize that that was a pleasure, a moment uh, uh, that I need to appreciate Allah for and Allah can replace that with something else here or in the hereafter. So that's how you become unbreakable. That's how you always have hope. That's how you have always have the right perspective about things. Next point, it helps you in increasing the, in the love of Allah. When you appreciate Allah, it helps you in loving Allah and in submitting to Allah. And when you do that, it does not benefit Allah, but it benefits you. You will be more submissive to Allah. You will be the one who will earn the love of Allah and be from the people of paradise. So, and that's a love that will never end. Any other human being connection, it ends. And then the benefits of general thanks and remembrance. So remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, right? That in shakartum lazidanakum. If you are thankful, Allah will increase you. Thanking Allah by tongue, one of the ways is to say alhamdulillah. There are other forms of thanks, we'll talk about it later, but one way is to say it by tongue. And when people ask you, when you have thanks, appreciate Allah, give credit to Allah. Don't, and subhanAllah, one of the things that people do, how are you doing? Oh, great, by your du'as, by your supplication. No, give credit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Very important. So it's a form of thanking, and it, the more we remember Allah, the more we are aware, aware of Allah, the more we say, A'udhu billah, bismillah, inshallah, mashallah, alhamdulillah, subhanAllah, astaghfirullah, it will have a lot of spiritual benefits. And as we talked about in the first episode, our most a serious enemy, shaitan will be driven away from us. So it has the benefits of general thanks and remembrance. So what are our key, key, key takeaways? Number one, give it the right attribution. Understand, have the right perspective of things. Where are things coming from? Develop an appreciation of Allah. Love Allah. Remember, if there's someone else that you are impressed with, that you appreciate more than Allah, that's going to cause you downfall. Thank Allah and be from the grateful ones and remember Allah often. So until next time, I will leave you here and I would recommend, please do ahead, subscribe and share and let us know how you're benefiting, what can we do to make things better and what can we do to empower you better. Until next time, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfir wa atubu alayk, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.